In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a tileable texture in Mudbox. Let's begin. First off, we open Maya. What you have to do is click the grid, snap, create a plane, drag it out to the boundary of the grid. Then you adjust the subdivisions width to whatever width you want it to be but first of all you have to make sure that the lines match up to the grid lines once that the width is good then you set the height height should also match the grid lines too just for sake of tiling Then you go into edge mode and then drag select all your edges. Then you click detach components. That's to detach all the edges of the faces so you can separate all in one go. And then run a clear history and center pivot on each faces delete the first column of faces Then drag select on the second row and then go into the pivot edit mode. Move all your pivot points to the corner of the first brick and then snap it to the midpoint of the top row of the first brick. And then just center pivot everything. Delete that edge. And then select all the rest of the faces because they're no longer useful and delete them. Select all your faces and then extrude them. Once that's done, you have to split your edges so that you get an even topology for sculpting later on in Mudbox. One thing you have to watch out for is that you have to have an edge that splits the middle of the brick. The reason for that is that it's used for snapping the bricks in place before you bring it into Mudbox. Since I'm just subdividing the bricks, I'm going to take this time to talk a little bit about the advantages using baking method versus the screen capturing method. With the baking method, you can capture up to 16-bit or even 32-bit 
color death. Whereas if you use a screen cap method, you're limited to 8-bit only. Or 16-bit with the limited dimensions for height map. The reason why I use this method to create the textures is that if you use screen cap, you have to duplicate or instance your bricks on both sides so that it wraps around. Whereas if I use this method, it's way easier to line up your textures and make sure that it wraps around on the other side. Another reason why I use this method is because I don't have to set up a orthographic camera to capture the textures. And now you duplicate your bricks so that it lines up all the way to the end of the grid. Once that's done, you scale your all your bricks to the edge of the boundary of the tiling plane. And once you make sure that's done, you can select all your bricks and export them to Mudbox. So right here, I have a tiling plane that's created in Mudbox 2014. As you can see, all the layers are intact. In the object list, I'm going to show you the original mesh that I created. It's just a bunch of bricks that I sculpted within Mudbox and then reduced using the re new reduced mesh. As you can see, the old mesh on top of the tiling plane. And here's the wireframe. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it. First, go to Mesh, I mean, go to Create Tiling Plane, adjust it to 2 and 2, or just 1 and 1 is fine. But here I have just 2 and 2, so click clear, Create Tiling Plane. As you can see, the tiling plane is on a different axis, so I have to rotate it the proper way. Just simple 90 degrees, and then scale it up to match your mesh that you want to bake your tiling texture on. 
with, I mean, yeah. So there I have it all lined up properly. As you can see right here. And then we're going to move on to the next step, which is go to UV maps, extract texture maps, create a new operation, go to transfer paint layers, add the tiling plane as a target model, and then the bricks or your mesh as the source model. Choose ray casting. And then choose whatever image size you want. And with anti-aliasing turned on, and then just click extract. And here we have it. Perfect tiling texture. everything baked nicely onto the tiling plane in the UV view you can see that all the layers have transparency and everything on them intact here I'm just showing you the different layers Then next, we're going to export to Photoshop with all the layers into one PSD. All you have to do is just right click on one of the layers and then go down to export channel to PSD. Just click it and name your file and then click save and then automatically you will open Photoshop and there you have it your wireframe your tileable textures all in one PSD file that's all folks, thanks for watching.